Hi, I'm uh, Stewie 3D, and uh, this is the Ida 64 stress test uh, running this time on, just with the laptop on a flat surface and uh, not using the Targus lap kill mat. Now, the temperatures are actually all pretty much very similar to what they were before. However, I have moved room in the house, so I am upstairs because it's a bit quieter upstairs to do the test. So that might be skewing things slightly because it is a little bit cooler upstairs ambient than it is downstairs. However, just um, the, 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 um, the real benefits of this video is just to show uh, that under normal use that the Omen's cooling system is actually very decent. And... Um, you know, it, it's um, quite a capable cooling system. But actually, just listening, the fans are running faster. So downstairs, the fans weren't this loud. Um, not, they're not much faster, mind you, but they are running faster. Um, so we're actually looking... Now, at this point on the downstairs test, the Omen's internal fans weren't running quite as fast. And the CPU was around about the same temperatures, give or take a degree here or there. So, actually, the kill mat, in terms of taking um, just sheer temperature off it, it's not, you know, taking loads off it. But what it is doing is it's stopping the Omen's fans ramping up to such higher speed. Again, what I will do is part two of this video. Um, I will do it after about 38 minutes and we'll see. But it's nice to know that the Omen actually has plenty of cooling to spare. I mean, it's very rare I ever hear the fans get this loud anyway, so... Uh, in fact, they've just slowed down again. It's weird. They're, they're sort of hovering between two speeds. They're up and down. So it is nice to see that they have actually got quite a bit of play left in them. So, uh, yeah, this is without any extra cooling at all. So, yeah, I will do part two of this video after about 38 minutes and we'll see um, if it's still the same. All right, so I'm back. And... Um, the test has been running about the same amount of time as it did on the uh, one with the Targus chill mat. Uh, as you can see, no throttling at all. And temperatures are holding rock solid steady around about the very low 80s uh, to very high 70s. Um, no real difference between the uh, Targus chill mat results and uh, the... Uh, bear with me a second, the temperatures... Uh, and the uh, no extra cooling results however the omen i've been listening to it the cooling fans have been um working extra hard i didn't even realize they went that fast um they're basically being sort of hovering at their normal what i thought was maximum then every so often just going whoo, ramping slightly higher it's amazing to think that how much cooling this thing's got Unfortunately, the cooling fans don't report their speed like they do on my MacBook, so I can't actually find out how much faster they are spinning. But it is nice to know how much cooling the Omen has got. Now, obviously, these are synthetic stress tests and um, are really designed to push the uh, CPU to the absolute maximum that you're ever going to run it. Now, as I've proven in the uh, Targus Chill Map review when I was running Mafia, in games, that is where you're going to notice the extra cooling effect. So in the Mafia demo, I, I showed that the uh, GPU was running at 74, 75 uh, without the chill mat. And then with the chill mat, the GPU went down to 64, 65. So about 10 degrees cooling on that. And the CPU went from very high 70s down to low 70s. So about a 6 to 8 degree cooling there. And in other testing, I've been keeping an eye on temperatures after uh, playing various games. Uh, I can report that that uh, is the same across the board with no matter what game I play. Um, as I said uh, before in the Targus review, you don't need the Targus, especially if you are running it on a desk. However, 
it is nice to know that it does make quite a bit, uh, you know, it does make some difference, especially when you're gaming, and the fact that you don't, your little uh, laptop's internal fans don't have to spin up half as fast as they're doing now, which will obviously mean uh, more longevity on the internal fans. And obviously in gaming, if the stuff is, uh, you know, 10 degrees cooler on the GPU and 6 to 8 degrees cooler on the CPU whilst gaming, it's nice to know that it's going to just, you know, just run that little bit cooler and potentially um, overclocking on the GPU side because you can't overclock the CPU on this. Uh, it's nice to know that with the Targus Chill Mat, you have got a bit of extra room for a bit of overclocking potential. Um, as I said, the Targus Chill Mat is perfect if you want to game on the sofa like I do or you know, take your laptop to bed and game in bed, you know, if you want to become the ultimate laziness. You know, have Domino's post a pizza through your letterbox and... Uh, you know game in bed <laughs> but um yeah um so yeah as i said the temperatures are um absolutely rock solid stable uh, as i said it's just the fans what are ramped up a bit quicker on this one so there is definitely you know lots of cooling in this omen um it's a really solid uh system and uh, even under maximum strain is not going to let you down uh, hopefully these videos have been helpful if you uh if these videos have been helpful hit the like button if you really like the videos hit the subscribe button thank you for watching